Here are some astonishingly beautiful spiders. Sparkle Muffin Like most peacock spiders, Meredith Jactatus does an elaborate courtship dance punctuated by leg kicks. Imagine a rocket who's forgotten to shave their legs. We'll see another peacock spider later. In 2014, Madeline Gerard, a graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley, discovered this new species in southeast Queensland, Australia. Gerard lovingly gave her new find the nickname Sparkle Muffin. Mr. Sparkle Muffin has a blue and red iridescent belly flap that it raises like a colorful fan to catch the eye of a Ms. Sparkle Muffin. When he's not kicking his leg up, he's using it and his seven other appendages to rhythmically tap out a message to his prospective mate. Envision a fan and tap dance with can-can kicks. Fortunately for him, Miss Sparkle Muffin has eight eyes, giving her a wide-angle view of this dance, as well the ability to see motion. Unfortunately for him, if Ms. Sparkle Muffin doesn't like what she sees, she'll eat him. Only four of her eyes see forward, the rest giving new meaning to having eyes in the back and side of your head. Those eyes can also see a far greater spectrum of colors than the human eye. Perhaps just as remarkable as Sparkle Muffin's footloose attitude is that his size does not match his audacity. Sparkle Muffin measures a mere four millimeters and could perch comfortably on your pinky's fingernail. Long horned orb weaver spider. Of the 35,000 species of spiders, half of them form webs to catch prey. Perhaps the most recognizable webs are the radial grid ones, made up of concentric circles and held together by spokes. Most of these creations, commonly used in Halloween decorations, are the work of the orb weaver family. With more than 3,000 species, the Aranidae family is the third largest among spiders and the most diverse in size and appearance. As if to prove the point, the female Macrocantha arcuata sports an impressive pair of antenna-like horns on its abdomen. But those horns are not meant to catch some tunes, but it's believed to make her more intimidating to predators. Those abdomens can either be red, white, black, or yellow, and the females are often about a centimeter in size. The male is usually a tenth of that in size, which makes him snack size for the female after coitus. Macrocantha arquata is yet another denizen of the jungles of Southeast Asia, but because of accidental introductions, can also now be found in Southeast United States. Cat-faced spider. Another orb weaver, Araneus gemmoides has been dubbed the cat-faced spider because of the pair of horns on its abdomen that look like a kitty's ears. Posterior to the horns are eye-like dimples with striations on either side similar to a tabby's striped cheeks. To complete the image, the abdomen is covered in tiny fine hairs. Araneus gemmoides comes in various colors, ranging from a pale yellow to a dark gray-brown. The cat-faced spider is fairly common in the western United States their home stretching from Alaska to California, and as far east as Colorado. Both sexes have bulbous butts, but the females gets even more bulbous after she mates with, and eats, her paramour. Before the winter frost, mom is dead, leaving a substantial egg sac chock full of literal ankle biters. In the spring, the eight-legged babes snack on each other before they hoist silken threads to catch a breeze and carry them elsewhere. The venom of Araneus gemmoids is not dangerous to a human, nor can its fangs pierce the skin. But those fangs can give the back of your hand a severe pinch. Brazilian Crab Spider Epicatus heterogaster is a member of the crab spider family, so-called because their front legs are longer and arch forward instead of downward, giving them a crab appearance. They also can also crab walk sideways and backwards. Crab spiders don't spin webs, but wait until insects come close enough to ambush. Epicatus heterogaster does this two ways. The smaller juvenile camouflages itself by perching on flowers that match its coloring, either white, yellow, or purple. It also has an abdominal protuberance that could be mistaken for flower petals. Even its slow, jerky movements look more like foliage swaying in the breeze. An adult Epicatus heterogaster can also lure insects with a body color that reflects UV light Scientists discovered this when they applied sunscreen to the back of a female and watched insects ignore it. They are not sure why UV reflective light attracts pollinating insects, but it's possible the light mimics a flower's UV color patterns or natural bright spots. Eight-Spotted Crab Spider Among the largest crab spiders in the world, Platythomesis octomaculatus can be 7.6 centimeters in size. 
Despite this, they are relatively elusive in the wilds of Southeast Asia, stretching from India to Burma to Singapore. If the name Eight Spotted is confusing after counting the spider's spots, you're not alone. When the German arachnologist Karl Koch called this species Octomaculatus, octo meaning eight, back in 1845, no one seems to know which spots he was counting. His drawings of the species indicates four pairs of abdominal spots, not the three pairs, plus an elongated bar we see today. What makes it even more confusing? The number of spots on this spider's dorsal abdomen changes as it grows. Hatchlings have only two, and, as it ages, acquires more spots not just on the top of its abdomen, but one big one underneath. It also grows six on the forward part of the spider known as the carapace, including the so-called panda spots around its eyes. The confusion has led to misidentification of many other species with similar spots. Triangular spider. We've long been aware for a long time that horseshoe crabs were not crabs at all, but it wasn't until 2019 that scientists parsed. Its DNA to discover it actually was a distant cousin to spiders and scorpions. If we compared the exteriors of spiders and crabs, it would be easy to believe they were related. They are both arthropods with their skeletons on the outside, and both have jointed legs. An Archies lanciarius, a member of the spider crab family, has the coloring and abdomen shape similar to its crustacean namesake. Even its legs are crab-like. That is, until you count the legs. Arachnids have eight, crustaceans ten, or more. And when we look at the innards of crabs and spiders, we can clearly see they are not really related at all. Like horseshoe crabs, triangular spiders defy classification. Since it was first described in 1837, Archeus lanciarius has been placed in several different families and the debate is still raging. They are common in the warmer environs of Australia and New Zealand and come in either red, yellow, orange, brown, black, and white hues. They are ambush hunters, using webbing as safety lines rather than entrapping prey. Elegant golden jumping spider. We've known about the beautiful Chrysilla lauda for more than 130 years, but it is so rare and so tiny, a mere few millimeters in size, little is known about it. We don't know if its beautiful iridescent coloring is for camouflage or catching a mate's eye. We're not even really sure what the female of this species looks like. What we do know is that Chrysilla lauda is a member of the jumping spider family, and the few videos of it demonstrate that this little guy is a world-class long jumper. There are more than 5,000 species of jumping spiders, and make up about 13% of all spider species. Even though they have no leg muscles, they can jump 50 times their own length using hydraulic motion. Their hairy legs also give them traction in virtually any terrain, including glass. That terrain is usually in the jungles of China, Burma, and Vietnam. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.